live. I guess it just wasn't. Oh, yeah. Hey, I was trying to come live, and uh, my 2G is very sophisticated here, <laughs> and for that reason, uh, I'm not being able to be live very well. So we just arrived finally to Delhi, but we were here. When did we arrive? Three o'clock. Yeah. And it's now 4:44 when we got into this lovely cab. Um, it took all that time to do a million things and get out of there. The girl looks after two days of traveling and every flight. Oh my God. Either this is the lighting or I have makeup smeared all over. This is how we look when we have traveled for two days and had major delays on every single flight. We finally made it to our hotel in our room. I think it is like five o'clock. No, what time is it? It's six o'clock now. And we are gonna take a shower and then we're going to meet at seven for breakfast. And then eight, our driver comes to take us to Taj Mahal. So who needs sleep when we've just been traveling for two days? Yeah, who needs sleep? We don't need sleep. Don't, don't I look like I don't need sleep? So I just wanted to check out this room. It's pretty nice, actually. Too bad I won't be able to use it at the moment. I don't know what's up this window. We're on the seventh floor. Wow, what a nice view. The window goes from top to bottom. And I know this place has a really super nice pool. Like this place is deluxe. Oh, look it, that was nice. I wish my sister Gwen was here. She always laughed because I always put a towel on the floor like that. That is hilarious. She would have thought that was so funny. Um, but, I have to get ready to go. We got a guide that we didn't ask for, but we told them that we would like a photographer instead of a guide. Right. So we we have a we have a photographer on staff now for our <laughs> photo shoot. Three main entrance doors. Back one east, west. optical illusion. There are three in the Taj Mahal. Okay, that's the gate. Well, I'd like to say hi. This hi. is our guide and your name is? Safaran. Safaran. And he's very helpful. He came out of nowhere and he's helping us, showing us some very nice things and taking lots of pictures for us because that's what's really important. our first um, eyes on Varanasi and uh, we're coming from the airport we've been driving for probably I don't know 20 minutes and 
and um, the city takes a turn to differentness everywhere. And we must be getting into Varanasi now because it's like turned into this. This guy is hilarious. Yeah, it is funny. He, when he was driving us, he said, first of all, they're holding a sign with a name that's not really ours. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Uh, well, kind of, but no. And then he says, asked, he doesn't speak English. He asked if we wanted chai. And we're like, no, we'll just go to the hotel. And he's like, eh, like, you just want to go to the hotel. So he pulled over and he went and got him some chai, I think. And then he came back ch chomping on his uh, samosa. <laughs> on a samosa, like uh, like no cardboard filled samosa I've ever had. That thing looked good. Not to mention he just stopped on the side of the road. He stopped on the side of the road. They have, they're actually they're known for their, uh, I, I heard there's a lot of good street food around here. Anyway, he chomped that down and he was rubbing the grease all over his Steering wherever. Wheel. <laughs> on anything. Spitting, sneezing, coughing, and farting. Using a piece of wood that he got off a tree today for a toothpick. Anyway, we'll come back. No, I was just looking at that. She thought it was cheering up. It's just a rush hour. And I wish I could just. Uh, Watch out with the baby. We almost hit a cow a minute ago. Oh, oh did that guy just keep fall off his bike? Look at this guy with his bucket. Somebody's wearing your tank top. <laughs> really? Yeah, I saw one. Saw one? Yeah, that was one out of one. Out of How many? million. Right. Well, I saw one though. Was he a local? Yep. And who knows, maybe after you leave, you guys leave, they'll all yeah, we start wearing them. They're like, yeah. hey, wait a minute. We can cut off our sleeves <laughs> and dress like this and put we some tattoos. This place is crazy. Didn't I do that to Nietzsche with my hair? Yeah. Like a few of them the following year had the same. Imagine this being everyday life. Oh, we're almost there. We're staying at the Dasha Vamed Ghat. You see that sign? We're staying there. The Dasha Vamed Ghat. That's where we're staying. So we're almost there. Get out into this fun situation. I got no shirt on. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> gonna walk naked. <laughs> gonna start a whole new trend. That's a trend well, I'm trying to start. Well, trend. to be honest, in all of this dirty stuff, I'd be covered. I was trying to start that trend in the Bahamas. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's a whole fabric store. That's why whenever anybody talks about being free. See, even these these mannequins are covered up. Right. <laughs> 
It's like, I don't even want to show you my dress. It's going to get dirty. We're gonna have fun talking to these people. There's your fabrics, Homer. Those are shower curtains, actually. Look at their stores. Some of them are just like literally steps. Like, I'm gonna start my store right on the steps and I sit right here. <laughs> Did you see that guy? I might have got him on tape. So, this is where our hotel is. Up this alleyway, off of this street. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. This is where our hotel is. Aww, poor babies, poor doggy. Need water. Is this it? No. Ah, hello. 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 Shukriya. That's milk. No, no, man. I don't want to. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, come, come. No problem. You want to stop here? Complete. No problem. You stop. He stop. Okay. One stop. Yeah. One stop. Okay. Whatever. Dog situation is pretty sad. What was it? Oh, did I step in it? No. Watch out! Whoa! Unfortunately, that sucks. Uh, this is my room, which is super nice. He's like, well, you guys go pick your room. I go, there's three guys and one girl. Which one is for the girl? He said this one. I have to agree with him. Um, this is the bathroom. Now, this place has probably been here for hundreds of years, my guess is, because it's right on the Ganga. So they do have a shower 
And just like in Egypt, it will go straight on the floor and out of that hole. But they've done pretty nice stuff at this place, I have to say. And then we have, that's that. I have a little sitting area, which is awesome because we'll be able to meet in here. And then we have a outdoor patio just for the us and the two guys that are here. We share, and this is the garden garden. So that's the town down there. That was a crazy town. We had to wind around and wind around to get all the way to the river. They're drumming over there. Last night they were drumming across the street from our hotel too, I think. So these are gats. Um, well, that's not really... They usually have stairs that go down. But, um, you know, they do their bathing and their ceremonies. Something's going on over there. This must be a little temple right here. So, that's pretty cool. We got the energy, that ancient energy flowing right here. And I'll tell you, we had major issues getting here. They canceled our flight and said there's no other options, too bad. You better watch out because um, the flies are going to go in your room. In your house. This is, th let me show you Clock's house. This is where Clock lives. <laughs> That's awesome. So my That's tabo. the Tosh. My Tabo. That's the Taj Mahal. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. See, that has a shower. Yeah, the towel. And a tree of life. Um, well, you have your butt washer right here. For those who are Filipino. That's your butt washer. I don't care. For those who are Filipino, I'm going to be washing my butt with that. <laughs> my grandpa used that. I never used it. He used it even in our modern times. But, you know, you just let the shower go on the floor. Usually there's a squeegee, but I guess it just runs down your thingy. So your your experience at that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So yeah, this is his house, and um, he said to lock this this door when you're not here. You might have a nighttime visitor. So yeah, we're gonna soak this up. Yeah, so our, yeah, they said there's no options for our flight. So we couldn't get here and I'm like we have to get there so every step of the way there's been stuff bricks thrown in front of us and I just said you know what you can keep throwing bricks in front of our transformation and we will just keep being stronger than that because God is a big God and uh, God knows we're getting closer and closer to that amazing presence and nothing is going to stop us and yeah it was lucky that we could get up here and I won't even say lucky I know we were meant to and it was not a preferred situation at all um, but we just rolled with it we're rolling with it and there's a business house is in there my house we own this whole floor <laughs> Homer's floor his patio is an indoor one and then when he goes, oh, look, there's two people. And we went like this. And there's two people sitting on their bed. You like totally can clearly see them. It was hilarious. And underwear. And it was probably hers. So that's it. Here we go. I can't see. Hello. Can't see. Hello? Yeah, I can't see. Ah. I need flashlight. Yeah. Ah, legal, legal. Ah, I can't see. My flashlight won't go on. Careful, you 
this way. It's very dangerous. No light. Hello, so, sir. Some problem. No. Uh -oh. I'm trying to. It's dark. Uh, so light problem. Yes, there is a light problem, for sure. All night, not light here. Yes. Man, that's crazy. So we're going on a 5.30 a.m. boat ride on the Ganga right now. Uh, hello, namaste. Namaste. And there's these very steep steps. Uh oh. We never did, dude. Yeah. We, the cut. we were in the cut. Oh, that's right. We're heading down to the gap. And this is like really scary. Here, hang on. Yeah, especially here. Here. Okay, I'm hanging on to Homer's shoulder. Here, you want me to? My arm? I got my uh, water in my hand. Namaste. Namaste. Good, good. I make video. Yeah, right, Shop for bottles. Or something like that. Oh my god. Shop for bottles. So, this is the water down here. Can't really see it. It's a. Oh, it's a Good morning, Ganga. But I'm kind of. Watch out for the, uh, the poo. Human, dog, and cow, and and monkey. We have monkey poo on our uh, balcony. <laughs> Homer was kind of sitting there, and he said, it "Smells like shit around here." And then he looked down, and there was monkey poo right next to him. So, if you can see, um, there's boats in the water here. We're at the Gat, which is the steps that go down to the river, and we're up for their morning uh, artsy, where they cleanse their sins uh, every day by dunking in the river three times. There's a lot of flies and bugs. But it works though! It works! I wouldn't you know, say is you, you this is the most hygienic place. <laughs> uh oh, now we have to try to get in this boat. My nigga, how do you expect us? That should be interesting. Uh, so this is the boat. Can you pull the there. boat closer? He <laughs> <laughs> took one giant yeah, step. Like no, I'm gonna be right my ass in the Ganges. <coughs> you trying to take a dive? Come closer, please. We don't need these oh, he's life jackets. Nah, he's throwing the life jackets in the other boat. No, ne not ne no necessary for us. <laughs> no necessary. No necessary. And we had to get dressed this morning with lights going on and off constantly. The power was going, it was off completely for, I don't know how long, a couple hours at least. And then it was going on and off trying to get ready in the dark. That was interesting. To she's the only one that can swim. Right? So and I, she's our... You guys... What you mean? I can float in the ocean. That, you can. This oh ain't the my. ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your floating skin, skills in the Amazon. <laughs> This is, this the, is was the funniest one. Oh yeah, my god. I don't know, man. I don't know Homer, you want to go ahead and we can help the end? Huh? Oh, yeah. Their famous temple. Oh, that? Yes, this oh, up here. There. See, the temple, you guys, is famous. Beautiful. This is Asli Ghat. Last Ghat.
take pictures but they said they're not burning it right now so we can so this is a big deal right here this place is all about death and rebirth transformation He's asking me what my Instagram is so I can send him the recording of their push-ups. Hashtag Sadhus of Instagram. sacred tree yes and then this tree is the banyan the banyan which is the buddhist buddhist what's the name of the hindu tree? people people people, people. 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 and there is a water well and a water well wow. before in this water Again for our evening art team. 
ceremony. Just eating the dog. And this is the happenings. A lot of people gathering for uh, evening festivities. It happens every night. And then we have a dinner date with the Sadus. I want to see if I can see my friend. Light and a six hour drive deep into Rajasthan's Thar Desert. Five AM wake up call. These tents and bedding were nothing that we ever expected. Give me, I picked it for you. Oh, yeah. Yes. 
and just like that we find ourselves in a place of peace and serenity the fort villa would be the place that we spend the next two days breathing healing relaxing and finding all the gifts in the past several days and places taking time to stop and put it all together taking time to heal this beautiful villa was a place that we could call home we were the only ones staying there and we were looked after every step of the way we had a beautiful area where we worked on our India spiritual journey journals catching up on the last several days taking time to remember all the special moments and what they meant to us each personally as well as what they meant to us individually discussing it for hours and realizing just how much this journey already meant to each one of us Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. He was nice. Brought he brought us all the way here. They are nice. Oh, is it coming? In the fort still and a rooftop restaurant. Hello. Happy Holy. Happy Holy. This is our second time here. Oh, good. Well today. Done. Oh, today. In, in five hours. Oh, lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> lucky man. The night view. That's the city around the fort. Oh my god, you guys are here? I didn't know I'd see you here. This is my room here, and basically we have this really decorative area that we could sit and meet. There's a lot of cool places we can sit and meet here, but look at the detail of this place. It is an old mansion, and it's huge, and it's amazing. This, look at this uh, chandelier. Wish it was on. Uh, the brothers are in this corner and it's in the suite. Their suite is amazing. Huge. Their suite is gorgeous. I love how they do all the flowers here. And... Oh, beautiful detail. 
details. Mm. I love the ornateness of India. So show you up here real quick. This is where we go up for breakfast and this is the outside sitting area. Hello. So this is where we can come and sit and relax. Homer's room is in here. His room is in there. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh man, it's a feast for the eyes. This place is amazing. When we drove up, the guys were like, what, this is where we're staying? I'm like, yep. There's a fountain down there. Beautiful plants. Uh, that's a big Ganesh statue right there. Uh, more terraces for people to sit and enjoy. I mean, this thing is just amazing. It's like, goes on for days. Just amazing. Of course, every table, every floor has these beautiful flowers. So, I'm going to show you my room now. And my room is the least ornate out of everyone's room. But that doesn't mean it's not amazing. Just imagine how amazing their rooms are. Here's another sitting area. Um, here's my room. And look how they have the beautiful curtains. Sitting area. So we'll be doing a webinar from here tomorrow morning. Just beautiful. Nice big huge desk. And a beautiful. That's over the door. And this is where I'll be sleeping. So pretty much, I guess I can show you the bathroom. Why not? The light will go on, just so you can see. How this looks. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, so this is like a closet with a safe and a drawer and Nice big shower, which is nice. So, pretty nice. I'm liking it. I like this place a lot. Very happy with it. Maharashi's coming in this way. Ooh, the menu looks good. Yeah. Rush hour and Jaipur. We're on the tuk tuk. That's the wind temple. Um, uh, what's it called again? Um, uh, Umai Hawa? Yeah, Hawa. Oh. Maha. Hawa Mahal. Hawa Mahal. Hawa Mahal.
Sorry, did you have a nice day in Jaipur? Yes, I did. I bought my whatever. Oh, statue. And souvenir. She was good. She was totally staring at me. <laughs> I know she was. Okay, what's that stuff? So this isn't even rush hour. Oh, they have the roundabout. Whoa. This is like the Jeep ride without the sand. Crazy Jaipur. India is just a little crazy everywhere you go. Gotta love it. Royal Raj is around here. 500 or 1850. That's wonderful. Yes. Is it 
Happy Holi! Happy Holi! So we're happy, we're getting ready to hit the scene of the Happy Holi! This! This! Happy Holi! Holi Holi! So well, we'll see how this goes. Look at uh, Homer. <laughs> here we go. It's extra spicy around here. Very spicy. <laughs> Let's go. We just had a big holy party. Close and sleeping little life. Just entering into Pushkar. Some of our friends here just taking it easy. You know in uh, Egypt how they have the donkeys with the carts? Here they have camels with carts. I don't think camels were made for that. Well, they don't have to give it the color. That's like four inch eyes so small. <laughs> <laughs> These carts are trippy. I know, we took the cheap ride. Imagine, imagine if you were wearing your outfit in one of those carts. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. With a camel, yeah. yeah. That would be a nice. We'll see how things go here. So, let's go over here. This flower right hand, right hand. Oh, right hand. All flower oh, yeah. right hand, all family wish, up to down. Where from? America. Oh, Philippines. Philippines. I'm an American Philippine. First to see your part. Excuse me. That's a city. Where's the dog? And the Lord is going to survive.
They're eating the motorcycle. <laughs> He's like, well, oh, I want to get on my motorcycle. Here's the papa. Hello. Ooh, There's the baby. mama. Oh, no, the mama's over here. Hello, babies. Whoa, look at him. He's happy. There's two of them. So we're in Udaipur now. We're just waiting for our hotel to come down and retrieve us. And do we have cows surrounding us at the moment and bulls? What? Oh, uh, 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 uh. Hello. What is happening here? <laughs> Record. Okay, that was interesting. Oh, now he can get on his motorcycle. That was a boy cow? Animal, dude. Do I need to tell you? So here we are. The City of Lakes. Our last stop. Spending four days to incorporate everything we've been through in the last few weeks. Tying up loose ends taking some time to breathe and see how much we've learned about ourselves. All our new perspectives and how we've been naturally transforming as we travel through so many places, experience so many things, cracking open our hearts to a place where we are totally elated. Here we will heal four days of Ayurvedic treatments to soothe our souls, relax our bodies, and just chill. The energy here is so beautiful just what we need and of course a little more fun here we go good morning i've been up since before sunrise working on some client work uh, and i just wanted to share this beautiful morning it was even more beautiful before the sun was up this far as the sun was first coming up, wow, the river views were so gorgeous. River, it's not a river, lake. The lake views, I keep calling it a river, I don't know why, probably because I live next to a river. The lake views, so this is, it's been lovely working and just watching the light come up and this view is amazing. So I just wanted to share it with you real quick. I will take you out to the patio because I fully intend to get back in bed and just relax for a while. I'm tired. Um, so this is the sitting area. Really lovely. Uh, that is, a, I think that's a real window. And then all of these openings are open. Can we, I rolled up that shade. So those shades can be rolled up. I wanted to just show you the lake view. So I'm on the... I'm on the first floor, but technically I'm really on the second floor. And, oh yeah, so this would be the room next to me. So it's blocked off. That's why they do it, so you can have privacy. Love it. And then look at how pretty these stained glass, um, colored stained glasses. I'm sure the, the this building looks beautiful from the lake view. Okay, oh, there's a big spider there. Um, the lake comes straight up to the building. I mentioned that in my, my post yesterday. 
that this is the morning and the city is starting to wake up. I can hear music coming from across the lake. I see a few people walking over there. Look how pretty the water is. You see the temples. This city is very lively. So it's kind of nice to have this moment of just peace. It was extremely quiet just even 15 minutes ago. It was just quiet. So savoring those early morning uh, moments where you can actually experience the quietness before the craziness happens. So the hotel has its own gat, which is a gat is stairs that lead down to the water. And uh, India has a lot of, with their rivers and lakes, um, have a lot of gats. So it looks like the hotel has its own gat to get down to the river if somebody wanted to go down there. Uh, we probably will go down there for um, to do our uh, little closing ceremony at some point. But um, yeah, this is a huge lake and we're just kind of at one end here. And uh, look at this amazing building up here in the hill. Right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like a palace or some kind of um, amazing something. I guess we will find out what that is. And then a, a big spider is coming down in front of me. Um, and then a couple temples you can see over there. It's interesting because it's like, they're almost like identical there, that and that. So we'll do some exploring, but today we are going to um, experience a few different types of Ayurveda techniques, sessions. So that's where we're heading later after breakfast um, to get some treatments done. So that's going to be nice. We need the relaxing and uh, the resetting of our body, mind, spirit after all the shifting we've been doing. So the timing is absolutely superb and amazing. I, I always amaze myself at how I tap into the energies and create these programs and uh, the timing of what we do is impeccable. Uh, it just amazes me that I have a gift to do that. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying it happens every single time and whatever we're doing is exactly what we need to be doing. And yesterday I was feeling my body just feeling kind of sore and needing an adjustment and I thought oh wow we're gonna be doing Ayurveda I wonder when that is because I didn't have my itinerary and sure enough I was walking by the Ayurveda place last night and they're like do you want to get some massage or Ayurveda treatments and I was like i pretty sure I have an appointment we have appointments with you I'm not sure if it's this one because there's a lot of them but I'm pretty sure because I knew it was near the hotel and that was also um, a mystery because I wasn't looking for anything near the hotel, but when I researched and researched for the best place, I, uh, I told them where our hotel was and they said it was just uh, like a minute, not even a minute walk from our hotel, which, wow, what a coincidence, <laughs> not. Um, and then he said, oh, four people? And I said, yeah. And he goes, oh yeah, you guys have an appointment tomorrow. And I said, oh, great. I'm glad to you could tell me what I was doing tomorrow because I hadn't even looked at the itinerary yet. So anyway, the, the two brothers are going to go first and then uh, Homer and I will go after and we'll see how the treatments go and how that shifts us and the how we feel after it. So we're on another phase of our trip, the last phase of our trip, and this is the part where we integrate everything that we've been through and um, do some healing. Uh, because when you shift your energy and your mindsets and your body, you have to realign it again to um, a higher, better level of vibration and, and um, alignment, physical, mental, emotional. We have to incorporate everything we've been through and realign 
all of our physical and vibrational patterning to lift us and support us in all the changes we've made and into our life now moving forward. Super exciting. Okay, I just wanted to share a little of this beautiful morning sunrise. I hope you're having a wonderful day and an awesome life. And if you're interested in joining us on one of these journeys, we will be back in two years for a specific reason uh, to work with our uh, sadhus. But um, yeah, keep it in mind. It's amazing. Homer just wrote down these mantras from Lakshmi. We just and I'll were say here. it. Can you do one more time? One yeah. more. This one? Yeah, because it didn't work. And we're in this shop across from our hotel over there. And this beautiful dress shirt combination is all handmade and hand stitch. Look. Mm. Good, beautiful quality. It's gorgeous. And so we said we didn't know because, you know, we weren't going to spend money like that. We're leaving today. So we said we had to ask Lakshmi for some blessings. And then they told us up there is Lakshmi. So then we were doing Lakshmi mantras. And he's very nice to offer me this beautiful um, scarf. Because Lakshmi's talking to him and helping us and helping him and him. And so it's a very beautiful morning for all of us. Yes? Yes. And I got this free rose in the hotel. They just brought it to me and gave it to me. So 
It's a beautiful morning, right, Homer? Sri Lakshmi Ma, Ame Ashirvati. Yes. And so we will practice that. <laughs> Look at these beautiful things in here. So beautiful. They have so many beautiful things. We went to Lakshmi. No, we only one in the Rajasthan. We did not. They said it was closed. I'm very lucky. Yeah, other side of the leg. There is in Rajasthan. There are only the one. So many gorgeous things here. This is so beautiful. Look at this elephant. Other side of the leg. Not so like the fashionable. Same color. Gigi Temple. Gigi Jagdish Temple. After that. You're telling me that. Here is Jagdish Temple. Then we go down the way. What is your name? There is a Jagdish Temple. Lakshmi Temple. And what is your name? Money. Okay, Money. 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 <laughs> Money. So Money was asking where's the guys with the muscles? Because <laughs> yes. they're not here. Yeah. <laughs> because they saw the, us walking back and forth and he said he's jealous because he tries but he can't get like no. that. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Thank you.